Okay, so this is going to be a video on gardening and, and farming crops. We're going to be dealing with crops here, not animals. Okay, so the first thing you need to learn is this little icon down here. It Basically, it's supposed to look like a shovel over ground, okay? And it kind of doesn't. It's this one right here. It says toggle fertility overlay. When you click it and it's green, it is going to show you where you can grow... And anything that is the bright green is going to be more fertile land. Basically, when you hover over it, it's going to say fertility. And you can see it's 140 here. So this is 140 fertility. But if I were to grow something up here, point the mouse here, we have fertility 100%. So obviously, that is why I have stuff growing in the fertile areas and not out, not out not out here okay so i don't have anything growing out here but i got hill root here and um other stuff so I, let's see what i got here okay so these are you see how i made that pattern and you do this by going to zone Let, okay so you go to architect zone and then you're going to go to grow and then it will let you highlight it so you just make the pattern when you're done you you Click the pattern, and it's going to tell you what you're growing. I'm growing cycoid plants in that little spot. Um, you got to be careful when there's multiple ones, and you double click. Sometimes you will not select the one you want, and it it just it does this. Okay, this is one of the problems in the game. Um, sometimes if you hold down Control and click it, there you go. Okay, so holding down Control and clicking it does work. This is hay grass for my animals. My animals have plenty of stuff. Let me hit control again. Okay, so holding control and clicking will highlight only that one zone. This is hill root. And over here, control. I got more cycloid plants. Now, my daughter let me know something that was going on with cloth and cotton. But before we get onto that, let me turn off this. We got to turn off this little thingy here to go back to the natural selection. These are the hydroponics, okay? If you click on an individual plant in the hydroponics, it will tell you the growth well. It's got to be during daytime. My bad. Um, it'll it'll actually tell you the once the light turns on that the fertility there is very high as well. So the hydroponics inside of a room with a roof. And with the sunlight for growing is better than growing outside and it's better than even being on the fertile lands. Okay, so that's that's all I, all I wanted to say there. But, oh, let's go up here to my cotton. All right, so I have some cotton growing here. My daughter was asking about how to get cloth. When the cotton plant is done, okay, it shouldn't actually tell you on information. Okay, on information for the cotton plant, it says at the back, these are used to make cloth. Okay, so you are getting cotton fibers, and when you harvest it, you don't have to do anything with it. It's literally cloth, okay? So you don't have to get cotton and then turn it into cloth. As you can see here, I got 8,574 cloth. That's because I had, well, actually, I killed off some of my cotton fields, okay? Earlier I had more cotton fields. But I got fields everywhere, guys, okay? And it doesn't have to be in the fertile. But as you can see, if I click on fertility, you can see I'm growing in both the fertile and the non-fertile. So I got crops growing in the fertile. And then I got, these are cactuses that will give me wood. So they're like trees. I got those, and then I got some hay grass here on the side growing in the fertile as well. Now, if I shut off the toggle switch, you can see this hay grass is bigger than this hay grass. That's because it's fertile ground, so this stuff will grow quicker. It's at 96% grown. It's almost ready to be harvested, but if I come down here to where it's not fertile and click, we're only at 58, 59. It's growing fast, but if I click the top part, the, the top one is already at 65 or 95 percent grown and these little ones are only at 66 okay you don't worry about the growth rate that's in the day this is what you're looking at for harvest when it gets to 100 percent, it'll say ready to harvest now the other thing that you need to know is how to work the work button 
You click work. I have a lot of people here. You got to find somebody who is growing, okay? So I do have some slaves that are growing and stuff like that. I got some little robots and junk. But let's take a look at one of my normal guys, okay? He grows and plant cuts. And that's one of my main characters. Let me go to his bio. Okay, so if they have a fire, whether it's one or two flames on plants, then you need to put them on plant work. I would now, right now I don't need to worry about it. I got a ton of workers, okay? I got a lot of pawns up here, as you can see. Some of them are robots and they never sleep, so they're doing twice the work that a human does. But a regular human or a regular human slave, if you can find one that has plants, set them on work, go down here to work, and what you do is you find the character and you go over and you turn off all of this. You turn it all off except for grow and plant cut and haul, okay? That's what you leave on for that person. Now, right now, my, I only have two slaves right now, and um, the majority of them are, are basically mining or constructing. So I only got two slaves here. The slaves will show up in yellow. But you, on a, on a base this big, I, I would need like three or four farmers. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, you don't have three or four farmers. Yes, I do. I have robots. This little robot is Gardener 1. And this little robot is Gardener 2. And if I click on Gardener 1 and go to Bio, he's a robot. Keep in mind he doesn't sleep. He only does cooking and plants. He, that's literally all his job is. And I actually turned off both of the Gardener bots from cooking. So if you go to work and you find Gardener bot, you can see here, this is cooking. Okay, you can see here cooking is turned off for Gardener bot 1 and 2. So they, they don't have cooking on, but they do have growing. This is growing. You can hover over it and see it, okay? So if you can't if you can't line it up, don't worry about it. Just hover over it and it'll pop up. Growing and plant cutting, and they are hauling and cleaning as well. That's all they do. They haul, clean. If they're in trouble, they go bed rest. That's bed rest and basics, okay? Like flipping switches. So I got two little robots that do nothing but gardening, literally. In fact, let's click one and see what he's doing. Harvesting hay grass. So now I'm going to him, and here's a little dude right now. Gardener 1. Uh oh I just researched something. So let me hit OK. So Gardener 1 is coming up here, and he's going to harvest the hay grass. Okay, now he's going to run off to another job. What's he doing? Harvesting rice plants. So now he's going to go uh, this way and harvest rice. So you need farmers that only do farming... I would suggest using slaves at first, or if you got a regular pawn that has that um, mark in their bio, then use them too. And even my regular droid, this, he's not even a gardener, but he's set to gardening as well. So he's a helper, and so is this guy, because I got robots in this, in this mod. But um, I'm using robots more than I am using slaves, um, and that's just because the robots are a little easier at this point in my technology to make because I'm doing really good on my components. Well, you can't see my components, can you? Let's see, open it up. So I have 26 um, components and 26 advanced components. I constantly have sh uh, steel coming in because I'm mining constantly. But anyways, when you are growing, remember, you gotta, you got to understand what that total switch is. So the toggle switch is important. Learning how to do growing patterns is important. And remember, you can always hold down Control and click um, to just get that to get that one, like what I just did there.